the U.S. Army is in a final stand defense against the zombies. Local police have been brought in to assist the National Guard in defending their military base. But little do they know, the rest of civilization has crumbled at this point. They are the last vestige of hope for the United States. Zombies are attempting everything they possibly can to breach through the concrete walls. And the US Army is depleting their ammo, trying to take them out. It's only a matter of time before this fortress ends up being crushed by the weight of the zombie army. In today's video, we are going to be building up the defenses for the United States in order to defend against an endless wave of zombies coming forward to destroy their military base. If the US Army can defend for a set amount of time, then they will accomplish victory and be evac'd out of the war zone. However, if they die, they die. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Now, let's build up our military base defenses. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Well boys, the defenders that you just saw in that battle only constitute 25 soldiers and police. So we are going to go ahead and build up these defenses here and we are allowed 100 soldiers total and they're going to have to survive for 30 minutes against the zombie army. So I'm going to be adding 75 additional soldiers to this defense right now, and there will be some more plot twists. Let's do it. All right, boys, we've got our 100 U.S. soldiers as well as some U.S. militia civilians, too, which should be kind of fun to watch. I've set them up across these roadblocks. I've also given us one additional Humvee back here and then our final stand area back this way, filled to the brim with about 10 soldiers. So last stand for sure. But then all the way across the neighborhoods over this way, we are going to have 20 U.S. Marines coming in across the map to reinforce. So in total, 120 survivors versus endless zombies, and they need to survive for a total of 30 minutes for the evac to come. All right, boys, I got the timer on my phone. Gonna press start at the same time as the game, and boom, 30 minutes on the clock. Let's see if the boys can survive. They're starting off with just an absolute huge amount of fire knocking down zombies in the adjacent streets uh there were zombies already spawned into the map but more will be obviously spawning in endlessly at certain spawn points these guys a uh, few of them are pivoting up here so i'm guessing yeah they're going after the u.s marines over this way who are moving about they're trying to get to the military base uh some of these are military zombies on the battlefield actually uh, i believe they're ports from world at war zombies oh a couple marines biting the dust early on there that is no good i'm hoping they can make it to the military base uh but right now they're just sort of taking it house by house i can't blame them i wouldn't be booking it to the military base either i'd be going slow and steady this way but they're racking up a solid number of zombie kills because this is in call to arms gates of hell the game looks fantastic and the zombies look even better whenever you play these in uh men of war assault squad 2 they're always not as good looking so yeah really nice zombie mod here this is a new one i have never played before for modern conflict the mod if you guys want to check it out for call to arms gates of hell 
Back at the military base here, these guys are doing just fine. I do believe the units in this can run out of ammunition though, at least some of them. Some might have unlimited ammo, but other units might not. I'm not entirely sure how the mod works, just the testing I did, it seemed like some were running out of ammo and some weren't. So, we could run into some problems with that, so you guys might want to be careful not to, you know, waste too much ammunition, but more zombies are spawning in now over here as well as, yeah, over here. There's two spawn points for the zombies. Oh, God, wait, looking at the minimap. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes needing resuscitation over here for the U.S. Marines. Oh, God, they're just yeeting the Marines. No! Oh, jeez. Okay. Wow, the U.S. Marines died really, really quickly. That was kind of all of the sudden, um, and they're all gone. There's no way we're getting a medic over there. I think there is actually technically a medic among the ranks of the boys at the military base currently. Uh, I think I put one in, but yeah, we're not sending anyone to go save those guys. I'm sorry, but it's the apocalypse, and we gotta be a little bit frugal with what we end up utilizing here. So, <laughs> yeah, we're not sending anyone... Currently, no one is out of ammunition from what I can tell. The zombies are going to be migrating from deep in these suburbs over here to the military base, but some are spawning in and heading towards the military base immediately. Uh, so it might take a few minutes for the zombies to get over here. In the meantime, why don't we do a little time lapse here of the boys defending the military base until the zombies actually get over here. Alright, zombies are just now starting to make it to this little intersection here that these boys are defending. And we do have a soldier out of ammo. One soldier is currently out of ammunition. Uh, we will go ahead and pull him back because there is ammo coming out of this uh, Chinook here. Which, I didn't think Chinooks were... I thought... Are Chinooks a US? I thought it was a Soviet helicopter. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But either way... Yeah, we'll send these guys back to gather some more ammunition. Does it not... Oh! It might be a tank ammunition resupply center instead of an infantry. Because these guys are not getting resupplied at all. And now more guys are needing resupply, but they're just going to be stuck out here. They can melee, so maybe they'll be able to melee some zombies to death. I'm not totally sure, but yeah, the U.S. forces will weaken and weaken and weaken as the battle goes on. I didn't realize how big of a problem this could potentially be. Yikes, especially if that Humvee is capable of running out of ammo. Things could get real bad real quick here. That could be a major yikes. I do love these shotguns, by the way, up here. I mean, they've got some range to them, but they go with a bang, baby. Look at that. Popping zombie heads from way away with just a shotgun is pretty impressive. Uh, the zombies right now are currently still spawning in in mass back here uh, and over here. I think it's like every 30 seconds, uh, like... 60 zombies or something like that spawn and they're just starting to like really pick it up uh, and really get their waves up forward here and start to full charge full charge and they're getting closer and closer yeah they're getting closer and closer the u.s troops at the military base could end up looking uh down the barrel of a zombie mouth pretty soon here if they aren't careful not to mention the folks running out of ammo is definitely a bit of a troubling thing for us we are at 23 minutes 54 seconds still remaining on the clock so still lots and lots of time but yeah, zombies got time man they got time let's go ahead and do another time lapse here until things really start to ramp up Another two minutes have passed, and they're still holding just fine. A couple zombies getting up to the barricades over here, which is definitely a bit problematic. A couple zombies coming in the flank over that way as well. But look at this lineup of them coming forward. I think actually one of the problems is the zombies have a little bit of congestion here going through these areas, which just results in them going slower and slower. So that's not very helpful. I also noticed one of the cops outside over here ended up dying, so... Rip to my boy, 
But beyond that, uh, another guy ran out of ammo here. Yeah, not everyone seems to run out of ammo. It's very confusing who runs out of ammo during this. It doesn't exactly make sense to me. It really doesn't. Uh, but these guys still coming forward. I, I, I mean, they're holding outright right now. Um, I mean, this guy, I think, is out of his primary ammo, but still has his pistol ammo. Okay, some zombies getting very, very close over here. Look at that. They're closing in. Ooh, just one or two mistakes, and we could have uh, some dead civilian militia as well as SWAT team members over this way. That could be fairly disastrous for them. Is this still firing, by the way? Is it? Is the Humvee out of ammo? Um, yeah, Humvee is completely out of ammo. Rip to the Humvee right there. Okay. Well, that is possibly going to cause some more problems in the future. We shall see. But for now, uh, the zombie's getting close, but no cigar just yet. So let's keep this time lapse going. 20 more minutes on the clock. 10 minutes have passed. Okay, I just noticed the zombies did get a kill on one of the civilian militia. More managed to make it to the front here. It is getting laggier as we have more and more zombies on the battlefield shuffling on in. So we do have threat of crash just due to the sheer number of zombies. But I think the more that come on, uh, the more that end up making it in. And we did have a couple soldiers over here dying too. So they are somewhat getting into the <laughs> fortress over here. I wouldn't really call this a fortress. It's a military base. Uh to say that uh, it's a fortress would be a little bit of an exaggeration these guys over here with the shotguns seem to be holding up the gate right now uh, but the zombies I think are distracted by there were oh there were police officers over there they are dead now okay we are actually getting into very very laggy territory so I am gonna go ahead and real quick uh, just delete a few batches of the zombies over here again they will respawn not to worry they they will respawn but we'll delete some of the ones in the way back over here as well as some over here um, just because it is getting a little bit laggy to the point where I'm worried it would crash uh, so yeah just deleting some of the spare zombies there these zombies coming around this neighborhood fence pretty pretty heavily I'd be worried about this over here uh, my main concern actually is that one of the fences might break we saw it happen with the U.S. Marines where they threw grenades and some of the fences broke. So, oh yeah, that literally, that just happened. That literally just happened as I was saying that. And that's going to open up uh, a gateway for the zombies to come in from more angles. So that is very problematic. Yep, more zombies getting in here and starting to go after some of the SWAT team members below. Oh, they haven't killed that guy yet. Wow, some of them are just beelining for the fortress, though. Oh, yeah, more civilian uh, militia down there going down. 17 minutes left on the clock, so I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be able to do this if they're just losing all these troops. But this gateway over here into the military base is still holding okay, but lots coming in. Over here is problematic as well. You know, let, I don't know why I didn't do this before, but let's get the soldiers out of the Humvee. There's no point in them being in there because obviously it is out of ammo. We do have the other Humvee over this way, which obviously not really firing. Unless it... Has it been firing over the fence? It might have. Hold on. No, it's still got ammo, so I don't think it's fired at all. So that thing is still good to go. Uh, those guys that came out of the Humvee, I think, are actually free roamers. So they can retreat and attack as they so please. The rest of the forces here are stationary troopers, so they will not be attacking uh, they'll strictly be defending. So it'll be interesting to see what those troops do end up doing right there. Uh, but we seem to have another position sort of locked down now. There was a little bit of pandemonium there for a moment. A little bit of a threat. So, you know, some problems happening. Uh, but now we seem to be okay again from, from what I can tell. From what I could tell. Uh, but you never know. Crazy things happen during these battles. Uh, we've got currently 16 minutes on the clock right now. What are you doing? Sonny, I... Uh, Sir, 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 I get that you want to be gung-ho, I get, I get that you want to get out there and kill some zombies, but this is going to be a very, very bad idea, yep, there you go, he gets bit in the butt right there, his friend over this way seems to be a little bit more intelligent and is just chilling that way, so, uh, that's good, but, yeah, his buddy, oh, yeah, I'm dying big time, did someone throw a grenade over here? Why'd they all skirt away, weirdly? That was strange. I'm not totally sure what happened there. 
but we seem to be chilling again. All right, let's do a little time lapse since this is locked down for a little bit. All right, boys, I time lapsed for just a minute there because I'm not gonna lie, my dog started getting into the trash and started eating a piece of plastic, so I had to go stop him. Um, but <laughs> we're still holding here. The military base is still operational, although I will say it's getting a little bit sketch. The number of zombies getting up here is is bad. I'm surprised they have not killed this one SWAT team member right here. I feel like he should have gone down a while ago, but he just hasn't. He is still vibing. My goodness. <laughs> Look at this dude with the pistol and the bulletproof vest. He's like a member of the press or something. And a rocket launcher strapped across his shoulder there, so he's chilling. Oh, zombies are getting up to this little roost here. That is not a good thing. They did kill one soldier up here, so we have had losses. Um, oh, some guys died back here, actually. That's interesting. We've got more troops back this way behind some, like, extra sleeping pads and stuff like that. These guys chilling, though, for the time being. But these zombies find ways to sneak in and get the kills that they need to. Oh, that was so close. You guys are so unbelievably lucky that you got boys overwatching for you. My goodness, man, that, that could have been wicked bad. Holy smokes, another one tries to get up there, ends up getting destroyed. Uh, this guy here is out of ammunition. There's still one guy down there out of ammunition. The rest of the dudes that were out of ammunition are now dead, so that's fun. That's a cool little factoid for you there. 12 minutes, 50 seconds on the clock. I think maybe they can do it if they hard stop the zombies, and right now the zombies... I mean, they're still coming in, trust, but uh, there's a little bit of a gap in the approach right now, so it seems like things have cooled off at least a little bit. So while things are cool, let's do another time lapse right here so I can check on my dog, make sure uh, he's not getting into the trash again. I think I sealed it up properly, though. Okay, the dog is fine. But zombies start to break through over here. That was just like a quick 50 second time lapse. And they get a couple more kills over this way. They also take out this outpost up top right there. <sighs> not good, dude. Um, oh, not good at all. Some serious damage is being done to the defenders right now, but we still got this real nice blockade back this way. I mean, a lot of cops just have pistols and the shotguns do take a little bit of breath to fire. You know, you gotta, there's a pause between each shot, so, you know, the zombies could squeak their way in during those things. Oh, zombies getting more kills over that way. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're flooding in now. They are flood. Look at this. Oh, they're getting close. They're getting close. They're getting close. Especially those guys on the left over here. They lost a couple soldiers. Yikes, dude. Oh, this zombie mod is so fun. I will definitely do more of this zombie mod if you guys like it because I am having a blast with it, dude. This is sick. Okay, they're starting to hold again. We, we still got the guys up top in that tower up there, so I'm not too worried about them going down. We've got 10 minutes, 30 seconds on the clock left. So these guys... They're starting to lose more soldiers, but you gotta remember, there's more defenses back there, so that's good. I'd say probably half of the U.S. force in total is dead at this point, including the U.S. Marines. I mean, but they, they've got less than half the time left, so, you know, ratio-wise, that's not too bad. You know, that's not too bad, boys. That's not too bad at all. I also noticed that the zombie bodies do disappear after a few seconds, which is probably a good thing uh, to mitigate the lag just a little bit. These guys, though, getting swarmed big time. I think this MG right here is out of ammo. That's why it's not firing. His buddy back there just has his pistol out. Oh, I think the zombies are having trouble getting up there because they all keep on blocking each other and the dead bodies, I think, are also blocking them. But whoa, a couple soldiers get up there and start to take down the U.S. troopers. Uh, and in a poof of blood dust, they are dead, and now the zombies start going through these guys like crazy. Just absolute disaster right now. Oh, this is not good. This is a big stride from the zombies. Yikes, that entire blockade goes down. Nine minutes on the clock. 
We've got a couple soldiers over this way, firing away still SWAT team members. Uh, we've also got cops and SWAT team members and uh, US soldiers back here as well, still holding out. But less of a concentrated defensive presence over here, so I think they're going to be easier to kill than the previous barricades for sure. Except for when it comes to the actual headquarters back here, I think that will be a, an excellent defense. Alright, also the Humvee starts to rattle off shots here, so this thing could end up doing big things. It's just ignoring those zombies though. Alright, it's taking out one to the left. Oh! Breaks its legs, turns him into a crawler. Oh, but that zombie gives it the kapuya punch and breaks the engine, forcing the US soldiers out of that thing. And it's chasing them. US troops, you better... Oh, he gets the kill on one, gets the kill on the other. Oh! This is pandemonium right now. This is not good for the US soldiers. Not good at all. Yikes. Yikes, dude. Got random zombies over here just doing like a little crip walk forward. <laughs> oh! That soldier gets snuck up on and eaten right there. Oh, it's the, mil the military zombies have really good health is the problem. That is the main problem. This guy's reloading. He's so dead. Buddy, kill him. Oh! Absolutely demolished right there. How much time we got on the clock? 7 minutes, 30 seconds. We need a hard stop point here. Y'all need to, like, get a grip and start really getting kills. Or else you are donezo, my friends. You gotta, like, power through this. Okay, this guy's reloading. Oh, saved by his friend. Also, the zombie seems to want to go this way for some reason. Wow. Okay. Um, we have a large pileup of zombies over here. Oh, there's one U.S. trooper who I think is stuck up here. All right, we're going to feed him to the beast because I think he is going to generate some lag if we don't move him down from here. He's also out of ammo, so he's not doing anything. The zombies can't kill him. There you go. So now this horde is going to come through for sure. Ooh, that, those two guys ended up dying over there. That guy dies over that way. We've got a small barricade here, and then we've got the full military defense in the back there. Yeah, these military zombies are rough, man. They take a lot to kill. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, how is the military fort here gonna hold up? Hold on, let me zoom in a little bit here. Oh, the zombies start coming in. They start destroying barricades. This is not good, boys. Yikes. Oh my God, they're, they're, this did not hold well at all. This did not hold well at all. Oh, the US fort ends up going down at the end there. Huge yikes. Uh, they tried their hardest and couldn't make it happen rip to the boys yellow are dead u.s soldiers well some of these i think were static bodies for looks but yeah most of these are dead u.s soldiers oh wait some might be dead zombies too uh i'm not entirely sure <laughs> uh but either way guys no, the zombies despawned, so probably not, but I think some were static soldiers. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you want to see more of this Gates of Hell zombie mod in the future. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.